How you doing? Came in out to it, and we're going to learn this together. This is a video I've been excited about getting be able to do since I went to Rep Fest last year in New Orleans for the Avon Convention. When I saw this product right here, I was ecstatic about it. My hair is natural curly in its own, but it's natural curly with its own mind. As we all, all women know, our hair has a mind of its own. So, I straightened my hair to take out that natural curl. Every now and then I'll go with it when it's going to be rainy or humid. And I'm just going to just throw it up in a ponytail anyway and just go with it. But back in the 80s, late 70s, 80s, whenever I was in middle school and high school, when the fair faucet look was in, we all did that, the bangs back and the hair flowing back. But you remember, and my husband and I were talking about this earlier, we had those big old brushes and we had that hair dryer that about blew you away while you styled it. And then it took 40 cans of Aquanet. Who used Aquanet by the cases? Don't lie. You know you're probably one of them. So anyway, now, after I straighten my hair, then it's hard for me to get it to hold any kind of curl. I have watched videos of these with women with board straight hair, thick even board straight hair, and in 17 seconds, the hair is curled in a spiral. Beautiful. I have not used this. I just opened it just a few minutes ago. I've had it for a little while, but this is the first time that I'm actually going to use it. I have it sitting here next to me, heating up. I'm very excited about this. I want to tell you a couple things about it. At first, it heats up. I mean, look at the split. But a few things about it is it has... I'm put my glasses on because I want to read everything to you. Exactly. This thing is amazing. We watched them do uh, hairdos with this down in New Orleans. One of the first things that I noticed about it once when I opened it is it is heavy. But to me, that's high quality. It's not anything light that is going to bust or heat and crack and uh, I've heard things that do that but this is very good high quality and it's called the Chi Lava and yes it's Avon. It's very it's very very thick and uh, I'm excited to use it but I do want to go over a few things before I do and uh, we'll cover this here a little bit better here in just a second. But when I opened it and I undid the cord which the cord by the way comes with its own uh, Velcro on it that holds the cord together. But when I took the cord off, I was, and I kept unraveling, unraveling, I plugged it in, and I was like, my goodness, it's an extremely long cord. Guess what? It's 11 foot long cord. How amazing is that? With me, that is great because where I sit here at my desk, and which is in my bedroom, but you know, that's at home business, my, uh, plug that I have is behind my computer on the wall and it's where everything plugs in at. It's my surge protector. So I need all that room in that cord to get it to come around to where I need it here. So uh, I do my makeup here and most everything. I work from here, everything here. So yeah, 11 foot cord. I mean, amazing, right? It has a memory setting on there to once you get the certain temperature and I'm not going to set my memory yet because I guess this is the first time I'm using it and then but once I get it set to where this is the memory I want it on this is the temperature this is you know how long I want it to heat up for set that memory and then all I got to do is turn it on and walk away and um, say that there isn't anyone else in my household that has long hair but say you lived in a household with a with your daughters or your sisters who also have long hair and they can set their own memory setting as well. You power it on, you go through the memory until you see that, that setting of yours, walk away. That Then it heats up for your temperature for your hair. So 11 foot cord, temperature and memory, one hour 
automatic shutoff. Now, I don't know about you, but I have left and went into town shopping and did I turn off my hair straightener or did not? Did I unplug it? And I hate that. I will, I've got into the habit now where I say, I look at my husband and say, I, I turned off my hair straightener or I unplugged the hair straightener or I unplugged the hair dryer because it just terrifies me. I've been in, not in, but through two fires and fire just terrifies me. So this has an automatic one hour shut off. Thank you, Avon Chi. A number one with me. That that sells me if nothing else does. It's an automatic shut off. Anybody else has been through a fire, you know how terrifying that is. It's dual voltage. It's one inch barrel. And I'll show you that too. On there. Let's see if I can get the this camera. I mean this camera are And what you do is you hold this side here towards your face. Sorry about the fingernails. I didn't do them. This side goes towards your face. And what's amazing is even though this thing is at 410 degrees inside in that barrel, this, I wouldn't even call it warm. It's, it's not even, I mean, it's just a, you can tell it's warm inside, but that's it. I mean, you can hold it to your face. It is not going to burn you. I can't feel the heat coming off of it here, but this part here, it is not going to burn you at all. But please keep it away from the kids because if they do decide to put their fingers in there, it is going to burn them. It's 410 degrees, so please keep it away from the kids. All right. So am I going to talk all day about this wonderful thing, or am I going to try it? We're going to try it. After all, it's just a video. It's not live, so it's a video. If it goes wrong, I can always stop it and do it again, right? <laughs> and I hardly ever do that. I usually just go with it. So, glasses down here. Got my brush ready. And you do only put in one inch of hair into the barrel at a time. So, I'm going to throw this back. What side do I want to go to first? Let's do this one. You see Grizzly working hard back there, right? He's a hard worker, I'm telling you. It's hard work holding that bed down, don't you know? So, do we think that's about an inch? Close enough. Be glad and all this virus crap is over with. For many reasons. One, to, I worry about my mother all the time getting this from anywhere. My husband has he is essential truck driver, so he has to go out every day to to work. So okay. One thing I want to tell you too. Depending on which way you want your curl to go, there are arrows on here that points left and right. Now if you want all your curls to go, let's say you want them all to go all the way around. And once, they, once you get to this side, do you want it to continue? Well, if you think about it, once you get to this side over here, since you're going this or this way, get around, this is going to be going towards your face. So what I would do is stop about halfway, flip the barrel. When you, when you start curling it from these sections, maybe, then hit the other arrow to that way your curls are going to meet, however you want them to do. I mean, hey, it's your hair. It's what you want to do. Oh, I wish I had trimmed my bangs up before I started. The bottom of my nose. Right there. <laughs> Don't touch your face, right? Okay. Further, without further ado. I'm so excited. Let's do this. So, remember, the flat side goes towards your face. You can't kind of smell the newness coming off of this, too, so... All right, are we ready? Yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna watch towards the mirror here. I hear you, okay. Let's tell me, hey, I'm wound up. Okay, so. You know how hard it is to do something in a mirror? All right, 
Am I going the right way? I hope so. Ready? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And another thing too, if you do happen to get your hair tangled, it will beep like a madman. There we go. Ready. And you just pull it down. Oh goodness, look at that curl. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I cannot believe my hair curled like that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I love it. That is amazing. Now, I'm not going to curl all of my hair because, you know, I had not your curly hair and I straightened it. So why would I do that? Other than you would just want a balance. So I might do that sometime. But look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. All right. Leave it alone. Let it dry. Or let it last. Let it cool, right? All right. And I'm going to do... A little piece next to it. I don't know how that didn't get in there, but it's all right. We'll add it to this one here. Hope y'all can hear me, okay? I don't feel like uh, the volume's very loud, and I usually have a big mouth, don't you know? All right. I think I got too much hair while I go in that. So, because my hair is thick. Um, I do use the cheap products usually, but I did that this last time that I uh, shampooed and conditioned my hair. I did use the, our new Propylene products, which is the the honey products, and uh, they're amazing as well. So, the the one thing I do love about the cheap products is it did clear up the psoriasis in my head. So this will be my main go to, but um, I will throw in the, the honey properly every now and then too, just for balance because if you have psoriasis or anything like that, you also know that once you use something for so long a time, it gets used to it. This is, eh, no more. So you got to throw something different around every now and then for that. But even though I did use the properly uh, shampoo and conditioner on my hair, and you can see that on my, on my Facebook page, I have pictures of that on there. But I put this in. This is the, the hair repairing serum and the cheap product smells so delicious but I just squirt a little light line on my hand rub my hands together and I just work it through I go underneath first and on top and then the shine even though the shine a lot of the shine also came from the uh, the, shampoo, the honey shampoo the propylene but this keeps it from being damaged because I put my hair through the ringer don't you know all right so and I want it to go this way, so I'll use this one. And so put it in the barrel. That wasn't good, Tammy. You sure you don't want to slide it up the barrel like that? So I'll get it close up. Get it in. And let it set. And that's all there is to it. And then once it heats up, I should have got the other one closer to my head, actually. I wonder what happens if you do it again. If I could comb it out and do it again. <laughs> I just can't believe the amazing curls. Look at this. Yeah, I should have got this one closer. So, I'm going to do it again. No big deal, right? And I do think I got too much hair, but let's see if we can trick it. You never know, right? Alright, get up, get in, find the right button. It's all in, let it set. And I guess I could go up. A little bit high, depending on how high you want your curl to go, I guess. Because actually, once mine um, cools, I'm going to run my fingers through it and then 
take the brush. That is amazing. Totally amazing. Usually once I straighten my hair, speaking of memory, it's like this hair has memory that says, oh, you, you want it straight? Okay. Because then you can't curl it for nothing. That's pie, as we say here. So, I hear you beeping. I hear you beeping. Okay. So, I'm going to let that curl. That is amazing. Look at that. So amazing. All right. Get this in the back. Figure out how much I want to curl over here. So, so far, what are you thinking about this, huh? Pretty amazing, right? I'm so excited. I got a little bit thinner hair this time. Now, I want this I want this curl on this side to go this way. So, I'm going to hit the opposite button right here that points away. So, use my mirror here because I can see better than I can on the camera. That's it. Curled up. And you wait. It's so amazing. I'm loving it. And I didn't think about it. Usually I turn off my air conditioner before I do a video because it has that little murmur in the background. But I didn't today. Sorry. So if you're hearing a noise like that in the background, it's the air conditioner. But I'm glad I have it on in a way because it's going to curl cool these curls down a lot faster so amazing look at that spring oh my gosh love it it is amazing all right I'm just gonna have a little section here This is definitely going to be something that I will be using quite a bit. Loving it, love it, love it, love it, love it. First time I've used it. I don't think I've ever, well, yeah, I have. I don't think I, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever used a product that I loved the very first time I used it, but that's not true. Um, I did buy a high-end hair straightener from Walmart that I paid a lot of money for. But anyway, there's that. So, wow. You know, it's it's the the bounce of it. I'm loving the bounce. Now, I remember back in the 70s when, do you remember, they called them the piggyback perm. And they would take the little tiny uh, curlers and they would put in, like, depending on the length of your hair. Um, at the time that I wanted to get mine done, and long story short, the one that did it didn't do it the way it should have been done. It didn't turn out right, but anyway. The way it should have been done was... Um, or say, okay, mine was, I don't know, maybe just a little bit past my shoulders. It probably should have been like maybe three, maybe two, four curlers put into that. They would call it piggyback. And you would put the one in real tight, and then you pull down some more hair and put the next one in tight, and then you just keep keep doing that to, you, you know, maybe have that much hair, you know, into that, that perm roller. And then, the, I mean, real close up to your head. And then, and then what you got was one long spiral curl like this. But they were, you know, tinier because you used the real tiny ones. There was a girl that used to go to the skating rink. And um, she had the most beautiful piggyback perm. It was beautiful. And I wanted that hair so bad. But then my mom took me to get mine done. I tried to explain to them. And... They didn't want to do that because they didn't want to burn my hair and blah, blah, blah. So she did a loose one and I was not happy with it. So that was the one and only perm that I had put into my hair. Never had another one. Uh, I'll take that back. I did do one that was a straightener and that just ruined my hair practically. So one to curl it, one to straighten it, 
no more, no, no more chemicals like that when my hair is done. Then goes now is maybe I might, maybe I don't color. I would say only my hairdresser knows, but I am my hairdresser, so there's that. So, okay, now what I've been seeing in most of these, they have been taking their hands and going through their hair. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to take the chance of loosening the curl up too much. So I'm going to take my brush and see if I can get it to do what I'm in my head wanting it to do. So let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is exactly what I wanted it for. Exactly what I wanted it for. Look at this. Can you believe that? Amazing. That is exactly because I, I, I straightened my hair because I don't want the curl in it. And all I want it, it's all I ever wanted my hair to do was like, look, just give me a little body right here, back like I had back when I was 17. Come on. I know I'm not 17 now, but my hair can act like it, right? Look at this. Oh my goodness. And just for the sake of it, Let's see. Let's take that back. This is going to end up being a long video, it looks like. 22 minutes already. Feeling... No, I think I just want to leave it like that. I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm extremely just happy with that. It's the, the bounce, it's amazing. I love it. at the body. Oh it is amazing. I love it. Can you tell I'm an 80s girl? Oh yeah. 80s girl for sure. Yep. Alright, well I'm going to do something with these bangs for sure. But as far as the sides of it, oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Loving this. So, let me know in the comments what you think. Whether or not you're going to try this or not. And of course, you can do all your hair and get all the body in it. And uh, I might do another video where I've done that too. But this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly it. This is all I really wanted. I mean, I, I, I straightened my hair. I straightened my hair for a reason. <laughs> you know? Because I don't want the curl in it, but like I said, I just want just a little bit of just a just a bounce of body. It's amazing. I love it. Anyway, okay, so I'm done saying I love it, but this is the Chi Lava. This will come out in campaign ten. I just wanted to go ahead and, and uh, show you what it was like. Be your guinea pig. Might I say? And I'm just going to leave it alone too. And I know it says it shuts off in an hour. I know it did on the one girl that I watched through her video. And I do believe it. But since I have been through two fires, I'm going to test that out for sure. And I will comment and let you know below at what point it shut off. And if it was an hour, just under an hour, a little under, a little over an hour, I'll let you know. Meanwhile, again, my name is Tammy Nautillet. I am an independent Avon rep. This is my big old grizzly bear back here behind us. He is part German Shepherd and Great Pyrenees. His mommy was a Great Pyrenees. His daddy was German Shepherd, both full-blooded, so he is 50-50. So, anyway, he has traits of both. I love him dearly. He is my youngest fur baby child. 
So you all have a blessed day. And if you decide you want to go check out my, my Avon store, it's www.youravon.com slash it. You do get free shipping at over with $60 plus orders. And if you're local to me, I still am delivering. What I'm doing during this COVID-19 time period is I uh, am delivering to your porch. And then you, you either pay me through PayPal, uh, Messenger payment, leave cash on the porch, check, however. And then we're just, nobody is touching or seeing each other. There's no contact at all. And I've been doing that with several of my customers. Or you can order online and have it shipped to your home. So, okay, I'm done. You have a blessed day. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.